what is up guys this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the 10.2.10 .10, uh, MIUI update over here as you can see from here I am on this 10.2.10 .10 MIUI build and what's new what are the things which are fixed right now I will talk about them like in this video what I could find and I would say the 10.2.8 build had lot of problems like there were lot of stutters in the UI in the 10.2.8 and the phone almost felt a lot laggier than ever before but in this update that's simply not the case like the stuttering and stuff is gone and the phone does feel really smooth over here i would say and the cameras and stuff are still like works flawlessly over here the stock camera takes amazing pictures but what i see over here that the slow motion is a little bit fixed like if you have been seeing the slow motion on the Redmi Note 7 Pro have been a little weird and it drops quite a lot of frames. It used to drop quite a lot of frames but right now it drops maybe like 1 out of 10 frames I would say. But the slow motion over here still does a little bit weird stuff I would say. It still like skips some frames over here but that is how it is as of right now. All volume has been a little bit improved. The earpiece volume I would say has been a little bit improved over here change log over here if you go into the settings and about phone so over here if you go into this what's new you will see that this is the fix over here of the 10.2.10 .10 update the noise in the speaker so i would say i didn't actually notice this problem but it is fixed right now so that is a good thing so the speaker output volume has been a little bit improved i would say over here and I would say the headphone jack volume with the 3.5mm headphone jack has been a little bit improved too over here that I can notice and over here the Android version still is 9 and the security patch is of the March 2019, March 1st 2019. I am using the full screen edge gestures over here and it is working flawlessly over here and I am using the Poco launcher by the way and the icon pack I will list it below in the description like you can see the icon pack from here too let me just show you by going to this icon pack as you can see I am using this stock android like icon pack which is the pixel icon pack let me just show you by add more from play store I have downloaded it from play store this is the icon pack I am using pixel pi icon pack it shows over here I'm just using this on the Poco launcher and the Poco launcher does have the double tap to sleep and stuff so you can just double tap anywhere on the home screen to make the phone into sleep and over here let me just show you the fingerprint scanner speed again so as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is blazing fast no issues whatsoever at all with the fingerprint scanner and google camera does work fine too out of the box the latest Google camera I am using over here for the Redmi Note 7 Pro does work with the portrait mode and stuff so you don't need to worry over here as you can see it does not freeze with the portrait mode I'll link this Google camera too below in the description but make sure you go to more and settings and then just go below and the, from the Gcam settings here as you can see the saturation adjustment just change these highlight saturation to 2.0 even with the back camera and the front camera as well and in the back camera over here as you can see it does show the 48 megapixel pictures over here let me just take a picture and show you if it really takes one as you can see this is the picture over here let me just go into the info of it so the resolution it shows is 3000 by 4000 so that is actually a 12 megapixel photo i would say and if you go into the portrait mode and click a normal picture let me show you that if it actually takes a 48 megapixel photo so if you go into info so here as you can see it shows as 6000 by 8000 so only in the portrait mode you can really take a 48 megapixel picture with this google camera so that is how it is let me just go back normally it takes a 12 megapixel photo i would say and let me open pubg and show you that if the notch side are fixed it was fixed already with the 10.2.8 update yes i know that so as you can see from here the black borders over here on this corner has been fixed and the notch works perfectly over here right now it looks pretty amazing and i have changed the settings to smooth and ultra but you can also play on hd settings but no hdr option is there you can play the highest on hd and high but you can really go to smooth and ultra as i am like i went over here and i have changed this to like the notched option over here and for this black border on this side well it, it was gone like by default i did not need to change the notch or rounded corner settings for this thing i just changed it because this menus and stuff were too much to the corners 
so that is how it is let me just start a match and show you so as you can see the game works super fine i would say over here oh my god It is pretty much 60 FPS that I can confirm. Let me just jump. So as you can see the gaming performance is pretty fine and it shows like on the full screen over here no issues whatsoever with the black borders anymore. So that is how it is and here is the end to score of this ROM. So I would say Xiaomi has optimized the MIUI quite well but there are still a little bit heating up while like opening camera apps for a longer period of time like maybe if you are shooting pictures for almost 20 minutes or longer the camera app will really like get stuttered a little bit and the phone really does get heated up a little bit with the like camera app if you're using it for a long period of time maybe 20 or 30 minutes so that is how it is and the battery life is still just amazing over here so let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this 10.2.10 .10 update on the redmi note 7 pro over here and i feel everything is pretty fine on miui like everything is getting fixed a little bit like with time and software updates and the DRM info well it shows as level 3 for me because it is like totally depends on the like bootloader my bootloader is unlocked so that is why it shows as a level 3 but if your bootloader is not unlocked it will show as level 1 so you don't need to worry and google pay and stuff everything works over here of course this is a stable like stock rom so everything is working super fine over here you do not need to worry at all the rom is super fast no issues whatsoever regarding any kind of stutters or lags at all over here as of right now what was happening with the 10.2.8 so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video share this video out with your friends if you want them to know about this 10.2.10 .10 update on the redmi note 7 pro give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now